So out of all these RC cars, this one here is one of our favourites. It's fast, it can drift, and it can smoke a set of tyres in seconds. Trouble is, it's big, and outside is winter. So we need something for indoors. And I think we have a solution. Oh my god, guys. Check that out. I don't know what you're thinking. It's an infraction copy. Well, then the infraction is a copy of Ken Block's Hooney truck. They've even put hoons on the tyres, look. Anyway, we don't care about any of that. We just want to see how good it is. Do you have a job you hate? Imagine if you could make more money from the comfort of your own home. That was my dream and it became a reality once I started selling on eBay. And I've now taught hundreds of people my secrets. So just check out the results here from some of my students. So if you're sick of that 9 to 5 and you want to make more money than a doctor from the comfort of your own home, then click on the link down below and I'll show you how. So just like on Infraction, we have rubber tyres, a metal chassis, four-wheel drive, also like the Infraction, Double wishbone suspension, front and rear, also like the infraction, and the roll cage, also like the infraction. Now the best little indoor car that I've ever used is this, the Car Show Mini Z. It's going to be interesting to see how good this is in comparison. And this thing is dirt dirt cheap, so if you want to know where you can get one from, link down below. So in the box you get car, controller, optional gearing so you can make it faster, and the charger. So let's charge it up, and then we're going to take it out for a rip. And while that's charging up, let's have a look at another toy. So as you can see, this one is a medium size. I've done a video on a similar one before, but this one here, it's got a brushless motor. And what that means is more speed and more power. So this one here is also four-wheel drive, also has double wishbone suspension, and also has a roll cage. In the box you get the controller, special drift tyres for drifting, spare battery, and a charger. All oh, right, all charged up, and to start with, we're gonna rip it on the standard tires. On the bigger one, we're gonna try the standard tires first, and then the drift tires. The smaller one doesn't come with any drift tires, but I got myself a set of these, as recommended by Tom Lee. Oh, look at that. Look at that, we've got roof lights, headlights, splitter lights, tail lights, more tail lights. So steering. It's epic. And power. <laughs> oh. Oh, that goes pretty good. Problem is, most people do not have this smooth surface. So let's put these drift tires on and then it should be able to drift on carpet. Check this out guys, they're actually made out of proper alloy. Oh my God, how epic does that look? Let's get the rest of them on there. Boom! <laughs> oh my God, that is absolutely amazing. In a minute, we're gonna build a little track in here and have a little drift montage, but first, let's check out the bigger one. All right, here we go. So we also got headlights and the tail light and you can change it by pressing this button here. Oh. Tell you what guys, the little one feels a lot, lot nicer and also it's a lot better size for indoors. This one here is a little bit big for indoors. But anyway, let's chuck on the drift tyres and see how it does. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Come off. What? Only kidding. Why won't it come off? Yeah. Jesus! That's not coming off, guys. Put gloves on, you get Superman powers. Oh. <laughs> Easy peasy. Boom! Oh my god, guys, that is completely transformed it now. Guys, it is really cool. I 
probably prefer the brushed one. The brushless one is a little bit coggy. What coggy means, it stutters a little bit when you get going. But as cool as this one is, I would definitely prefer the smaller one. And it's also cheaper. So next, let's build a drift track, take it out for a rip, and I want to see how it compares to the Kyosho Mini Z, which is like, I don't know, 10 times more expensive? I can't even remember what the prices are, but there's a link down below to all of it so you can check it out for yourself. Boom! Here we have the track. Masterpiece! So next, we're gonna have a little drift race. We have another driver just turned up. Bad one. So I'm gonna start off with this one. I'm gonna start off with this one. Drift race, ready, ready, go! So the verdict is, this one is definitely so much easier to drive, it's more controllable. This one seems quite tricky, once you've got a tight obstacle track, I think it's going to need a little bit more practice. But for the price, I think this one's about £70 or dollars, this one's about 200 so which one would you choose? The Mini Z, all day long. Yeah? I mean, I like this because it's got LiPo battery, yeah, I think it almost it looks cooler. It does look cool. But this one drives so much better, and that is probably why it is the price what it is. But anyway, next, let's get this one out, but in the outside, because in here is way too small. You ready? Yeah, man. Yes, let's go. Oh, no, what happened? Oh, dear. Oh, infraction. Right, I'll lift you. See? Yep. Yay. So here we are on our next location, and I think this one here is probably more suited, really, for outdoors. All right, let it rip. Big one. All right, let's give it a little bit more ABC or whatever it's called. EPA, what's it called? EPA. I should make it easier to see. So we've got a set of these street tyres, so let's chuck them on and see how that goes. Probably better on this surface. This car is actually really difficult to drift. Boom! Got them all on there and we got the GPS on there, so let's see how fast it's gonna go. Too much EPA, let's get that down a little bit. Here we go, brushless power. Oh! Here we go, flat out, it's going full speed. And we did drum roll, 23 mile an hour. Oh, <laughs> oh. 